Okay guys, question 20. Prove algebraically the difference between the square of any two consecutive integers is equal to the sum of these two integers. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna to need to, because algebraically, we're gonna to need to think about two consecutive integers. So we've got n, and the next consecutive integer could be n plus one, okay? Or you could have started with like n minus one and then had n after that. I'm gonna start with n and n plus one. The difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers. So we're gonna work out the squares of these and the difference between them. So let's do n plus one squared minus n squared. So that's n plus one is the, obviously the larger number. If we square it, take away the smaller number squared, smallest integer. So you end up expand that, you get n squared plus two n plus one minus n squared. Okay, remember when you expand this, okay, you need, it's two sets of brackets. Could be written like that. And there's four calculations. And then if we simplify that, n squared minus n squared is eliminated. So you end up with 2n plus 1. Okay, so that's when you um, find the difference of the between the squares of the two consecutive integers. Then we need to think about the sum of these two integers. So we've got n and we've got n plus one. If we were to add them, so for the sum, we add them, so n plus n plus one is two n plus one. Look at that, they're exactly the same. All right, so that's the proof.